Hey friends, Thomas Manton the fourth here. A word from the Lord. The Lord is talking about it's a time for war. Uh, a time for warfare, a time for warring, a time for strength, for battle. Uh, if you think that we can just sit back and relax while the enemy is doing such onslaughts in the world, uh, you're really not awake properly. And the Lord is just... Uh, speaking to me about this here. Today, Ezekiel 21 and verse 15, I have set the point of the sword against all their gates, that the heart may melt and many may stumble. Ah, it's made bright. It's grasped for slaughter. I mean, come on. Here's, here, swords at the ready. Thrust right. Set your blade. Thrust left. Wherever your edge is ordered, wherever the sword is ordered, that's where God is going to begin to um, to move. Uh, we need to take up our, our weapons of war and uh, begin to swing because the greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. Don't ever forget that. Greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Jesus said clearly, um, in the world you'll have some situations, but be of good cheer for I've overcome the world. God has overcome everything that the enemy would want to do. So our position in this uh, era of time is not one of defeat, but it's one of uh, victory. Um, I'm reminded of Matthew 24 where Jesus said the end is not yet and the Lord has made that very clear to me that though we it looks like we've entered the, the end times because of all the things that are going on who would think that so quickly these things would happen uh, but the end is not yet you'll see the signs but the end is not yet not yet not yet not yet more work to do I don't know about you, but I'm believing God for another good 20 years. I don't want to, I don't want to say dates and times, but my God, it should, should be at least that, you know. Now, if he comes today or tomorrow, I'm ready. You know, I'm jumping up out of here. And let me say again that we're not going to be here during the tribulation and the Armageddon because that's judgment for the wicked. I don't know about you, but I'm not the wicked, are you? I'm not the wicked. I'm not the one that God's trying to destroy. I'm the one that God is trying to help. And of course, there are people that are wicked today that can be touched by God and can get some mercy to flow their way. And that would be good for them, wouldn't it? It would be very good for them. Yes, it would. But at the same time, um, he's going to catch us away while he destroys the, this earth. You know, rivers filled with blood up to the whatever and then people dying and the earth you know wormwood coming and armageddon coming and the great tribulation and the antichrist and all that oh no 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 i'm not going to be here having to lose my head if i want to buy some uh something the devil is a liar that's for the wicked people it's really sad that people get themselves into that i know people personally that are so evil and so wicked the things that they do are just, um, you know, unfathomable, you know. But they have a very dark future. And some of these uh, political people that are playing games with people's destinies in whole states in America and all that, they, the darkness and destruction that's ahead for them is no joke. Do you know there's people that did me dirty, and I prayed about it. I prayed about it, people that did me wrong spoke horrible things I mean, just really wicked and they come back to me later asking for help because their life has been so destroyed and I thought it's interesting that it's a signpost that I'm seeing that judgment came because we prayed you know <laughs> about it all you know what I mean and uh, we see that God has acted you know when people uh, malign you and they steal from you or they malign you and do horrible things and speak against you. 
judgment will come upon them. You know, the little kids that mocked Elisha got eaten up by bears. Two she-bears came out of the woods after Elijah prayed. Elisha, Elisha prayed. Second Kings, you'll see that. Second Kings, the first few chapters of the book of Second Kings. Read the story of Elisha. They weren't supposed to mock him. He counted it a holy thing. You don't mock a man of God. No, 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 no. And I feel like this, I feel this tremendous focus coming on the inside of me for, you know, our work, what we're doing. And I'm unfollowing a lot of people. I'm just unfollowing. I just don't want to see all this noise in front of me all the time. People that don't. There's some people I listen to and many that I don't. You know, people that have the word of the Lord. I'm, th I'm, I'm really grateful that and amazed that God uses me to speak a prophetic message every time. is very valuable. So I'm somebody you'd want to listen to. But, you know, a lot of other people, mm, just... So I'm clearing out the clutter, getting, turning off all the noise, you know, all the things that I don't want to hear. Something, you know, something that you don't like, you don't need to have it in front of you. But I want to say this, this amazing prophetic thing today from, and I saw it again in Ezekiel chapter 21 about the time of a sword. Now, this was really bad because God was killing people that were, you know, grieving him. But we need to stand up as the church with the sword that could be in the spirit now, not in the natural, right? Not in the natural, but in the spirit. And begin to just destroy things that are coming against us. Anything that disturbs you doesn't need to be in your world. Anything that's dishonorable to you needs to hit the highway. Anything that, uh, when they get in the highway, you pray they don't get hit by a bus or something. <laughs> Amen. So, you don't need to have it in your world. But we need to fight for what's right. We need to fight for the light. We need to fight for, for revival and breakthrough. And just don't accept all these things that the devil's doing in the world. So, I, this is a message like a two-edged sword. There's a warfare going on against evil in the world. But there's also a warfare that God's raising up a sword against your enemies. People that are against you. People that are harming you like wrong environments, situations. You need to take decisive action in the spirit and get rid of that stuff in Jesus' name. And the Lord is saying, don't sleep while there's a time for prayer, a time for war. There's a war cry for prayer. Remember Habakkuk uh, 2 verse 1, a powerful scripture. Even Billy Graham preached on it. I saw Billy Graham preaching on that verse. Like he's saying, God, tell me what you want us to tell me. And Billy Graham was saying, the Lord was saying, no, I want you to rise up and get my mind, you know. I can't just tell you everything and then you're just lazy about it. But we need to fight in the spirit to get the vision of God and then write it down that others can run with it and read it. And uh, many testimonies are coming to us of breakthroughs that are happening for people. Miracles that are happening for people, tremendous anointing is upon my life and ministry, as you know. And the Lord is uh, really doing some great things for his people. So clear your gates, you know, clear the clutter. Get yourself focused on exactly what God is doing. And know that it's a time to pray, to pray hard, fast, seriously in the Holy Ghost in, with fire under the anointing. And get the sword out to destroy the works of the wicked. But especially those things that are around you in your environment. Anything that's bothering you. Fear, insecurity, scarcity, financial problems, uh, stress, ailment, sickness. You know, all of those are enemies against your personal life. It's time to rise up and pray and prophesy and declare war against them in Jesus' name. I'm doing that for you and with you. And I'll be coming back again to talk more about this. The e-books are ready. Very good news for our partners. If you have sown, if you're sowing a seed into this ministry right now, you can do it in Kenya on M-Pesa. And I heard the, uh, had a vision from God about a $77 seed. It was tremendous. Or you could do it on Cash App, PayPal, or whatever, or whatever amount God's talking to you as you're partnering with us. And I am sending to everyone that has sown and is sowing, if you're sowing a seed now, of any good amount, I'm going to send you 
an ebook. You can write me and tell me what your preferences is, but uh, preferences, the laws of success, or the benefits of excellence. But I'm going to surprise many people with uh, an extra one as my gift, and you'll be getting that. So, uh, if you're a partner, this these are coming to you in Jesus' name. I'll do it by phone, even by WhatsApp. I can send the file and the link, and you can print it read it or you can read it in your phone your tablet your laptop or whatever and be blessed by the word and these books i've written are all in principle form point by point things that can change your life words you can take hold of and use to further your success and god does want to give us his weapons of warfare you know he said the weapons of my warfare are not might i'm not carnal but mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds second corinthians 10 2 Corinthians 10, you know that one. And it said, every vain imagination, every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ and our victory is cast down in Jesus' name by our warfare. So the word is warfare. The word gives you power to produce warfare. The Holy Ghost gives you power, gives you a sword in the spirit. Prophetic anointing gives you power to fight in the war. And I'm warring for you, my friend. I love you. Thank you for being my partner. And please rise up and pray and get your world clutter-free, get your focus on, and do raise up a standard and a fight against all the wicked things that are being done by the evil one and his ugly friends. I always say the devil and his ugly friends, but they are all defeated. Please know that, and you and I have the victory forever and ever and ever in Jesus' name. It's time for us to get busy about the Father's business, his work, and get on with the program that he has. And God has a great plan for you and a great plan for me. And I thank God we're doing it together in Jesus' name. Thank you again for being my partner. All the information on how you can connect and partner is on the screen in the heading of the message and also in the comments. And I will see you on the next broadcast. Rise up. Get your focus. Get in the posture to fight and to war and to get what you want in life and what you need. And I'm praying for you. I am praying for you, my friend, that every good thing comes your way. The favor of God is coming your way. And the harvest on your seeds and your partnership uh, connections and love is going to cause God, the hand of God to begin to move speedily for you in many ways. New finances, new friends, new opportunities, breakthrough, upgrades, all kinds of things his favor will bring. You're going to see it happen as you are connected with this anointed vessel in Jesus' name. I'm so glad to be the oracle of God bringing the word of the Lord to you. And it's a time to pray, it's a time to war, it's a time to get your focus and everything set that you can do all that God wants you to be doing in Jesus' name. So be it. Love you much in Jesus' name. See you on the next broadcast.